Progesterone. Progesterone is a crucial hormone for the human body, both men and women. Uh, we are going to talk about it primarily related to women because that is what most people think of when they think of progesterone. But progesterone is a steroid hormone or a sex hormone. It's one of the main hormones in the human body. And when you're thinking about progesterone, think about progestation. So gestation is the process of having a child. So it is crucial for fertility and for childbirth. And so I really want to highlight how crucially important this hormone is. And a lot of women are struggling with their hormones and even their overall health, specifically related to having imbalances with progesterone. So I want to talk about some of the things progesterone blocks, or we could say balances. Uh, but if you don't have enough progesterone in the body, there's three big things that can be off or out of balance in the body. And the first one of those is cortisol. So progesterone helps block excessive cortisol. And if you think about how stressed out and anxious and how worried we are today and how many bazillion things we have going on all the time, you don't want to have excessive cortisol running through your body. So just imagine if a woman is stressed, life is crazy, she's drinking coffee, and she happens to have low progesterone. She is going to have a, a lot of symptoms that can get really severe, severe as panic attacks or depression or things like that. So cortisol is the fight or flight hormone. And so we really want to keep that balance. So a lot of women taking progesterone will notice very quickly that they're more balanced and they don't feel as stressed. So the second thing that it blocks is insulin related to blood sugars. When we think of insulin, we're thinking of diabetes and insulin resistance, but we think of blood sugar balance. So we're hungry and starving all the time and wanting to eat carbs and sugar all the time. That can be balanced out quite a bit just by making sure you have enough progesterone or taking progesterone if you need it. And then the third thing that it blocks is estrogen. And so estrogen, of course, is another steroid hormone, another sex hormone, crucially important for women and fertility and, and important for a number of different reasons. But there's a big issue if a woman becomes what we call estrogen dominant. And that can really affect fertility. It can affect their menstrual cycle, their mood, stress, anxiety, depression. So there's so many things that can be affected by having not enough progesterone and too much estrogen. Cool thing about it is we can test for it. So commonly blood is the main way it's tested for. I don't believe that's the most accurate. So I used to do saliva for progesterone, which is better because it shows the available hormone in the body, how much of the hormone is available and blood doesn't. The, the, the progesterone found in blood is usually already used up or already bound to another protein and being used. And what I found recently is that the actual most accurate way to check progesterone is through urine. And so there's a test called the Dutch test that I run often with women. And the Dutch test is a hormone test and it will tell us progesterone levels, but also estrogen and cortisol and DHEA and testosterone, all of the, st the steroid hormones. And it will give us an accurate picture of where we're really at related to progesterone. Really important for female related serious problems. Think endometriosis, fibrocystic breasts, ovarian cysts, breast cancer, and others. Like these are, these are issues that women are seriously concerned about. And 
you need to know about progesterone because that is a crucial hormone to make sure the system's balanced and those kind of things aren't developing. Because if a woman is estrogen dominant or a man, men can be estrogen dominant. Please stop drinking beer. Like you can get estrogen dominant. It's not good for the body. So um, what happens is, is you start to have an irregular or abnormal cellular proliferation. So you have extra cells growing where they shouldn't. And this is what leads to the cysts and the fibroids and the endometriosis and a lot of these more serious issues. So get it tested with a Dutch test, balance it out if needed. You might need to decrease the estrogen if you're estrogen dominant, take progesterone if you need progesterone. And a lot of women will immediately, and when I say immediately, like within a day, we'll notice symptom relief from taking progesterone. And some of those symptoms are menstrual cramps. It can be breast tenderness and, and PMS around their cycle. Uh, I mentioned fibroids, ovarian cysts, some of those issues, endometriosis. Um, another one is menopausal. So postmenopausal women, they don't necessarily need progesterone anymore for childbirth, right? They're post-menopause. But what happens is a lot of symptoms manifest post-menopause related to a woman having estrogen dominance. And those symptoms can be immediately offset by taking a good progesterone creamer, which is very affordable and very simple to do. A uh, quick story on that is I had a woman who was uh, a friend of mine who was also a professional in the field and she was really suffering with postmenopausal symptoms the vaginal dryness mood issues the night sweats the hot flashes and she wanted to get tested to see you know what her hormones looked like and so she did the dutch test she turned it in but i asked her i said hey why don't you try the progesterone cream until we get the lab test results back and you know then we'll be more specific based on what shows up in the labs she called me the next day she's like vaughn all my symptoms are gone <laughs> like hallelujah i've heard that before but it's really cool the hard part about it is she had been struggling with these symptoms for years for two three years struggling with all these symptoms that she didn't have to be struggling with because she was estrogen dominant and low in progesterone. And so this really can have a very immediate effect on the body and that's why it's so important. Now, long-term, there's other issues going on. We need liver support. We have to detoxify the liver because that's the organ that helps all these estrogens move out of the body after they're used up. So one of the, the things we say about estrogen, it's a use it and lose it hormone. So once it's produced and used, it's got to get out and it's estrogen accumulating in the body that causes the major problems. And a lot of that that's accumulating in the body can be our own estrogen because it won't get out. And oftentimes it's the man-made synthetic xenoestrogens that come from the hormones and the meat and the dairy and personal care products and different things. But that's a whole nother topic and video for another time. But I just wanna conclude by saying that progesterone is a crucial sex hormone, steroid hormone in the human body. Many women are deficient and don't know it. You can take progesterone to try it because it's not dangerous to take it. It's not going to hurt you. It's super simple. You just squirt this stuff between your wrists and just and that's it. it goes right into the bloodstream. And so you may or may not need it. It's not harmful to try it. Uh, but if you really want to be accurate with this, then go to a professional, get it tested, see if you really need it. And if you need it, great it really can and has changed the lives of many many women just simply taking progesterone but also make sure you get a long-term strategy because our other things going on is there estrogen dominance is there liver congestion you need to make sure you work on those things too and so i hope this information helps you 
helps you balance your hormones and helps you live a healthier, better life that God intended for you.